Hi, this is Joe Forget again with the Cloud Provider Product Team here at VMware. I'm here to talk with you today about vCloud Director 9.7 and the centralized point of management functionality. In this video, we'll talk about how we can leverage VCD and CPOM as an API endpoint to be used to manage an entire vSphere estate. So what we have here is a cloud administrator that is managing a vSphere estate that consists of hundreds or even thousands of vCenters. And what he's needing to do is address individual API calls to all of those vCenters in, in his environment. Now, what we've started to learn is that there are a number of pain points associated with this particular approach, one of which is scale. As the vCenter, the vSphere footprint starts to grow and scale out to hundreds and thousands of vCenters, the, abil the ability to programmatically address all of these vCenters in a scalable way starts to become an issue. Second is that it's a bit of a non-deterministic process for a cloud administrator to know which vCenters are available to address API calls to or not. The third one is related to access control. The cloud service provider is very limited in how he can control who is going to access which vCenters via API calls and which functions they're going to be able to access. And finally, this is all a very manual process for a cloud administrator to be addressing individual vCenters at this scale. So what we've decided to do with VCD is to introduce a use case with CPOM in which VCD gets inserted as an abstraction layer between the cloud administrator and these vCenters. And what happens is that the cloud administrator is going to direct all API calls directly to VCD, and VCD is going to proxy those API calls on his behalf to all of the vCenters. What VCD is also going to be able to do is act as a lightweight directory that will contain a listing of all of the vCenters in the environment. So now the cloud administrator sends an API call to VCD, and VCD is going to return back all of the vCenters that are available in the environment with some basic information, such as the vCenter ID, the number of hosts associated with that vCenter, uh, its basic up-down status, and some basic statistics related to CPU memory and storage utilization. So in that way, he can now programmatically address all of the vCenters in his environment based on the information that he's received from that, from that directory call, and he is no longer needing to individually address all of the vCenters because they're all being directed to VCD. That's pretty much what we have for you today related to VCD as an API endpoint. Thanks for watching.